Hey, Sagittarius, I have a very special impromptu type of reading tonight, um, recording during the Libra full moon, and I'm going to do a Cards Against Humanity Empty the Box reading. Empty the box. We're creating new space. We're releasing what no longer serves us, right? Right? And we're unpacking our bag. We're, we're peeling back the onion layers, Okay, and so I love using this to provide you a little bit of humor in your life, a little bit of playfulness, Sagittarius. I know you love that, um, and also some some wisdom. Okay, this reading is general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. You like that? I like that. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to make a big mess over here. Is that your energy right now? Stirring a kettle. That's what I saw, like stirring the pot. Are you stirring the pot, Sagittarius? Hmm, very interesting. These cars wanted to slip out all over. Maybe these are three more messages. These are three more messages that didn't immediately want to go back in the box. Muhammad, peace be upon him. Sunshine and rainbows. And Darth Vader. Ooh, tricky energy, Sagittarius. Dancing on the dark side a little bit, too. Oh, that's a Sagittarius energy. Okay, so now I put those back in the box because what I do on these is do a rewind. I show you the cards, and then I put it back in the box, and where I place it, I pull out the message and see what that says as well. But while you're with me here, I do want to shuffle. I've gone through the entire box and shuffled the entire box, and I have 16 messages here for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so 16 could be your number. Okay, it's a number frequency of seven, which sevens is about your evolution. Okay. Now is a lucky time, your cheerleader energy. What do we got going on for Sagittarius? These are the dark cards. These are the questions. What's on Sagittarius's mind? Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius. 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 I just recorded one of the, I'm not doing these for all the signs, but I did record one for Capricorn. It was super fun. I love Capricorn's energy and their dark humor. So let's see what came out. There's a few of them. Yep, there's a few of them. That's enough. So check that reading out too. Um, especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn or uh, just need a good laugh tonight too. But it also had great insight, which is amazing. You know, it's like spirit coming in saying like change it up. Especially if... I'm not called to do it for all the signs, so I'm picking you guys, like, so there's a need to change it up and pull, pull out a different sort of game or trick at your, at, at your magic hat, um, a different divination tool throwing in the mix like this, okay? So let's see what your dark cards were. Um, I guess I'm not going to need glasses in, in this reading. You get you being complacent a bit? I'm just like that with my glasses. That's Okay. We'll be able to read these. Men's Warehouse, you're going to like it. I guarantee it. That just definitely gives me, like, super confident vibes, right? But also, like, cheesy salesman vibe. And also, like, yeah. We'll see. What's that smell? found that my people have a certain scent but you're sniffing something out possibly what's that smell Ooh, that smell why can't I sleep at night a little bit of insomnia there for you Sag something what's on your mind what's on your mind you might even be able to smell spirit they wanted me to go back to that maybe smelling an ancestor um, it's like perfume or something they used to cook is coming through. I drink to forget. And remember, only take what resonates. You you know if I'm speaking to you, okay? So let's see what some of the answers are here. Fear itself. Maybe this is why you can't sleep at night. Maybe you can smell the fear coming off of somebody. Mmm. Let's do the rewind on this. Fear itself. How bad my daughter fucked up her dance recital. <laughs> oh my 
sometimes the rewind doesn't make any sense. Um, that's being awful critical. Maybe y'all can laugh at it together. Like reminiscing, going back through time and looking at like old videos of, you know, I feel like I'm talking to somebody who has an older child and you like go back through the videos and, and laugh at, at yourself, at her and whatnot. Laugh together is the image that I'm getting. So memes. Do you love memes, Sag? Memes, memes, memes. And a flashlight. Lighten it, lighten shit up, pointing shit out through memes. Eh? Agriculture. Agriculture big in, in your life. It's important to you. Fancy feast. So this tells me that maybe I'm speaking to a vegetarian. Agriculture, fancy feast. Or somebody that has cat energy, has cats. Fancy feast. Barely making $25,000 a year. Okay. So be dealing with um, you know, just living paycheck to paycheck. Maybe that's why you drink, you know. Um, could be part of something that you're working on to heal, um, like a victim mindset. Like this is the new that we're creating. The new world is about sovereignty and there's more than enough to go around and creating your own abundance. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe you work at a men's warehouse. I mean, there's such few out there, but like. You work in retail and you barely make $25,000 a year and you're like, you're fucking over it. What's the rewind? African children. Like, I'm just feeling like somebody who's tuning in here and maybe is it, you know, feels as though they're, they're at a poverty level or something. My ex-wife. It's on your mind. Ex-wife. What about this ex-wife? A little boy who won't shut the fuck up about dinosaurs. <laughs> you like dinosaurs, Sag? You got something like that? That was a cute one. Poverty. What? See, I don't look at these cards before I come on here. What? One titty hanging out. That's how you wake up when you were fucked up and went to bed and had a good night, Sag, and you went to bed in the tank top and won't you wake up with one titty out. <laughs> Sag. I love you guys. The homosexual agenda may be on your mind. And my balls on your face. <laughs> That's such a such a terrible thing. Magnets. I like that. Know that you are magnetic, Sagittarius. Okay? Your energy is magnetic. Think about that. So tune in your frequency. Raise your vibration to magnetize what you want into your life. What do we got magnet? What is the magnet? What is the magnet about, y'all? A much younger woman. <laughs> You're going to bring out Broomhilda. <laughs> you are. The Pope. The Pope is on your mind. Is religion, is religion on your mind? The Pope and explosions. Like, now I'm seeing you in your mind's eye. Let's just somebody who doesn't like the Pope. I'm going to explode the Pope. This came out for Capricorns, too. This is horrible that I have to say it twice in one hour. Seeing Grandma naked. And I don't even want to do the rewind. Can I just put it back in there? We don't want to see Grandma naked. Okay, we're just putting it back in there. But Sagittarius, I'll be honest and just show you what the rewind is. Emerging from the sea and rampaging through Tokyo. Op opposable thumbs. Opposable thumbs. Now I see somebody playing thumb thumb wrestling. And now Vladimir Putin comes out. Maybe you're really into politics. 
many bats. That's talking about rebirth. The bat is the rebirth. Many bats. Many rebirths. Again, what is this? Somebody has a problem with one titty hanging out. Oh, are you breastfeeding? Because there's lots of bats. Little baby bats is what I'm seeing. One titty hanging out again on the rewind. What, Sag? <laughs> Say it twice. NBA superstar LeBron James. Maybe you just really like him. Now the clitoris is at play, y'all. And LeBron James. Don't know. I always say, I, I had to say in Capricorns too, like when a celebrity comes out, I just I, I just go whoop and like push it aside because I'm just like, maybe you are becoming more seen and that's a good way to, to interpret it in this way. And maybe you like basketball. But I had no idea what it has to do with the clitoris, so... Yeah, sometimes the rewind is, don't try to understand it. My, ug my ugly face and bad personality. My ugly face? Stop being so down on yourself, Sagittarius. What the hell? And definitely don't have a bad personality. I mean, we all have those days, right? But stop focusing on them. Stop focusing on it, Okay. Bad is only something that we say in the matrix. You know, it's like programmed into us. What's good or bad? You know, who's to say what's good or bad? It is what it is. You are beautiful. Exactly as you are right now. It's very, I'm sending love into this card, okay? A Mexican. Maybe you're Mexican-American. Puppies. Puppies always make us happy, don't they? Maybe it's time to get a puppy. You know, maybe it's really time to get a puppy. I don't know. Firing a rifle into the air while balls deep into a squealing hog, or, or maybe you really need to let loose. Oh, my God. Now, I really feel like these answers really are good but the rewind on here like it, it's telling me what it's telling me is let's see how the rewinds off like it's not going together like it should and so there is I feel like there's a need to let go of things that you used to do in the past I drink to forget possibly that was what you used to do in the past maybe you had some sleepless nights and you figured that out why I can't why I have these sleepless nights Let's see what else. The last two here. Accepting the way accepting the way things are. You're going to like it, I guarantee it, Spirit says. Sad. Also, Capricorn had this in their reading too. Twice. This card has come out three times in the last hour. Spirit is coming through to say, please accept things the way they are, darlings. We'll still do the re re rewind, but... Incest. And, oh my God, what is with the side boob? Y'all are fucking killing me. <laughs> my joke on the side boob. The one boob, the side boob. What? Who's the boob? Who's the side boob? Oh, sad. It took me a minute. Spirit's funny as fuck. I'm telling y'all. And sometimes they go fly right over my head and I have blonde moments. Just sayings. Okay. So the rewind was weird, but yeah, now I got German dungeon porn out for this side boob. So do it. Yeah. Like, and Capricorn also had that same one out. I do remember so it's very important that you are be, you're becoming your own master is what I say with that Sagittarius. So it's been fun. <clears throat> That's this type of a reading. <laughs> I love you guys. Take good care of you, okay? Short, sweet, to the point. Give you a little laugh, okay? 
I uh, remember, the, I think one of the uh, most important message here is leave the past in the past and what's coming, you're going to love. You're going to like it. I guarantee it. All right. Mwah.